is the supernatural the supernatural component that must be captured in the life of a believer the supernatural the supernatural the supernatural the supernatural is not for men of god the supernatural is not for pastors jesus gets a madman healed and they come to him and they say you do this by beelzebub is the prince of demons in other words this is not men listen the bible says it is the lord's doing help me please and it is that means if it is the lord's doing it will always be marvelous you don't clap for me for walking it is human to walk but when i fly it must cause your attention because where the carcasses are there the eagles will gather it will take the unusual manifestation of the wisdom the grace the power the intelligence of the spirit upon the saints to cause and compel kings to come and every time kings come to you they don't come empty-handed asked the queen of sheba she kept hearing about the exploits of solomon but was too arrogant to come it was common she had results herself but his consistency compelled her and she got up with all her uh, her bounties and came to solomon theologically speaking it said that she was in the palace of solomon for six months it took six months when she saw the dexterity and the organization everything within her the palace it said she had no bread it said half of this was not told me there is a dimension of the supernatural that must come upon our lives that when your child produces a result that is not given to mere men to produce is a testimony signs and wonders are miracles with messages on them it's a signature from God through men to men saying I am God and I can still glorify myself in men Ah. Hello, walk, 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 walk. He's turning things around. Hello, walk, 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 walk. He's turning things around. Hello, walk, 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 walk. He's turning things around. That's what God is doing to someone. Listen, let me tell you this. You will never attract the attention of this arrogant world being natural. It will take a dimension of unusual results. There, there has to be something, a signature of God's hand upon your business, upon your life. If you do business like any other person, they will call you a colleague. But when you do it by the finger of God, you are no longer a colleague. You become a reference. Was it not men they called Zeus and Hermes? These were Greek gods. Men. Samuel was a man who was like God. Not one of his words fell to the ground. That God will grant us access. What then is the advantage of the spirit of the living God upon the saints? It's more than praying in tongues. It's more than falling down and rolling. The Holy Spirit is the advantage, not an advantage, the advantage. And when he, the spirit of truth is come, John 16 says, he will guide you into all truth, guide you into all truth, guide you into all truth, guide you into all truth. It says, and thine ear shall hear a voice saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. You will find rest for your soul was it not job that said there is a path which no fowl has seen the whelps of the lion has not gotten there there are virgin dimensions in the spirit that make for the victory of the saints it will take being supernatural to attract this generation this is not an ignorant generation this is a generation that is knowledgeable and enlightened when you are normal and you are regular you do not command the attention of this generation as a pastor as a businessman as a politician there must be not just the god factor but the spirit factor upon your life ellie who sat with the three friends the other two friends of job and whilst all of them were talking job, he kept quiet and looked at them he said i wanted to speak but i was afraid because i was young and then he says that there is a spirit in man 32 and verse 8 of job he says and the inspiration of the almighty the breath the breath of the almighty can make men of understanding 
can make men of understanding can make men of understanding the holy spirit came upon the ordinary apostles and they transformed was it not an encounter that solomon had with the god of heaven in the night and he got up being given an understanding heart the first case that came before him was a case of two prostitutes who slept and killed their children and switched their children and solomon looked at them this could cost him his reputation he was about to judge a life and death case and having the supernatural wisdom of god he said bring me a knife that knife was the word of god because the word of god is sharper than any two-edged sword it is the divider the discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart the moment the word came the true secret was revealed the discerner of the intents and they saw the the wisdom of solomon it was the supernatural exploit of david over goliath that made the nation of israel to sing the songs that saul killed one thousand and david killed ten thousand men came to david in the camp of adulam a cave called adulam the bible says men who were in debt who were distressed and they vowed that they will make him king he turned them into mighty men they were called the men of david to the extent that one would fight with a sword that would cleave to his hands transformation is not natural it doesn't just happen by principles there must be a divine hand of god where you turn a man from this to that a superior version of himself is turning things around will turn your life around And Elijah prayed and told Ahab, saddle your ass, for I hear the sound of the abundance of rain. And Ahab began to run. And Elijah, the Bible says Elijah was already there late. But the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he gathered his loins and ran on barefoot and overtook the chariot of the king down to Jezreel. There is a grace that comes upon you whereas it will take men 10 years to be established you come by the finger of god and by christmas this year you are standing here and kneeling down to say i, I have heard that god can change men but i have not seen it in this fashion that's what you are receiving as we conclude you have stayed in church long you have to get something to go back so that they will laugh at you and say church people they are back again ha! Hello, is turning things around yeah Hello, is turning things around Hello, Listen, I hear all the wonderful things and I thank this church and I thank everyone for loving me and loving our ministry. But let me tell you this. This man you see standing before you is a testament that when God puts his hand upon you, there is no man born of a woman that can thwart his purposes over your life that by the finger of god god will take you to places where you look left and right nobody is your age mate there even them they are in shock and saying you are not supposed to be here and you say he brought me oh he this one is the finger of god god brought me have you heard that proverb that that in one day a child can be born it's not normal but he said as soon as zion travails it's a possibility in one day born in one day the economy of a city changes in one day do you not hear that god the word of god is quick and powerful not just powerful quick 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 you don't have dominion if you don't have dominion over time the apex of dominion is not dominion over things is dominion over time when you can bring time to your hands and make things happen 
by the spirit so when someone here who is sitting and sick now and maybe in the next five ten minutes all of a sudden you check and that you are supposed to go for a surgery and it's gone that one is by the finger of god is the handwriting of god upon your life we are praying saul goes out to meet a man called samuel because there was a situation in their life and they needed a divine intervention please listen and samuel looks at saul and says is it not because the lord has anointed you to be king over israel pours the horn on the oil on his head and then gives him three instructions he said number one the lost donkey has been found when you encounter the supernatural restoration at the instance of an encounter number two he said whilst you are on your way going you will find three men with two loaves of bread each and they will salute you honor and give to you remember they don't know you does that look like strangers shall feed your flock that you are on your way going before you went to meet the prophet you were on your own no man saluted you you went in misery now with one encounter you return and you find men who will give you their bread let me tell you everybody is a giver is what is on you that compels their giving just because they don't give to you does not mean they are not givers everybody can give including satan so if it is not coming to you you've heard me say it again and again it is what is on you that controls what is around you let me give one example and then we are going to pray ah someone's life is changing oh listen the person to really thank after this convention is your man of god and his wife i'm here and done and on my way but the testimony that will happen in your life you will be too grateful some of you will wake the man of god by two and say daddy i'm sorry it's not my usual practice but please wake up you have to hear this ah, ah. i have heard with my ears but now my eyes have seen it that god can lift men please let me have two gentlemen come the gen yes any one of you right thank you you stand here my friend you stand here stand at the opposite side now watch this it's an illustration to bless you please turn look at these guys this man is the destiny helper of this man and they are all in a bell kuta. move slowly and continue to pass yourself and turn are we together he's praying oh god change my life here's his destiny helper passing him every day in Abel Kuta. there is no grace to call the helper keep going again lord when will you change the story of my life his helper is passing him but he comes to this convention and something comes upon you you didn't even know that something has come upon you now watch this oh dear this guy is under the anointing help him um i wanted to use somebody for example oh come anybody come sorry just just leave him you have received your own is not a story again watch this now look at this this gentleman I, I, are you getting what i'm saying now now because of this anointing walk slowly when you get to yourself stop it would have been as usual except for this now when he gets there this anointing starts speaking to this man listen the anointing has a voice the anointing now begins to call this man and says no you can't pass him like that again it was like that but after a conference and he will stop and give this man something you call it favor you call it breakthrough but it is that when god wants your cup to run over he anoints your head not your cup thou anointest my head but the effect is seen on my cup you reign you reign Elohim, you reign, you reign, you reign. Elohim, you reign, you reign, you reign. Elohim, you reign, you reign, you reign, you reign. Hallelujah. listen to me let me tell you this we're rounding up 
we're rounding up listen you see every time god wants to change your life he introduces a man never say men do not matter no it is always from god through men to you it is never from god to you from god through men to you a new anointing from god through men to you destruction from satan through men to you men will always be in the center watch this come david is in the wilderness seeing visions of himself become king god is here on the throne he had rejected saul as king but in the middle of prophecy a man shows up called samuel and says i refuse david from being king god decided that david is king david is ready to be king but a man stands in between and says no whoever told you men cannot stop the will of god read your bible I want to show you something and we're going to pray if you hear what i'm teaching you remember i taught you yesterday that there are three dimensions to experiencing the power of god and that it is not always about your personal sacrifice and your prayer life there are times that god wants to help you he knows the process of transformation will take time so he will bring you in contact with a grace he has vowed with this is why we honor men we don't honor men because of their bodies we honor men because of the sacrifice of alignment that has happened in the secret place that has made god to swear his name upon their life that they represent portals conduits of spiritual possibilities and god comes to samuel and says how long will you weep seeing that i've rejected saul as king in other words samuel i beg you you are delaying somebody's destiny get up take up your horn i am god but i am limited this is the world of man that's why the world had to become man to come here it's illegal to operate here if you are not a man so the almighty god is limited by men that's why prophecies prolong because the men with the level of grace to make that prophecy come are not there let me tell you something when god speaks over your life it will take a grace to make it so when jesus was born he didn't just show up there were two prophets in the temple called simeon and one another prophetess they were interceding even so lord come maranatha come jesus did not just show up because he was the son of god There is the prophetic dimension of lifting there is the prophetic dimension of dominion and in the next five minutes you are coming under that influence listen let me tell you my brothers and my sisters i know that there are men who believe that every man is just a joker and every man is just a hungry man looking for money or pastors are... no 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 there are men who have vowed a vow with god there are men that have become systems by the grace and the predeterminate counsel of god that you come under the influence of their grace everything about your life must show yeah na 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 yeah na 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 hallelujah our time is gone but in the next two minutes this is our final session i want you to cry that in not whatever must live your life today as far as god is in heaven i join my faith with our father i'd like you to cry to god in the next five minutes i don't know if there are people who are tired pastors there are realms that we must enter today there are levels of grace and anointings please where is that drummer that played for this man i need somebody really where is there's one place Shabarakatosia, are you praying? Shera na na e, e, na na na. The mighty one is about to have a convocation in this place. Shebara na ma, se na na ma na ya na na. Kela barakatoske branda katoshala na. 
have you heard this proverb that in one day a city is born pastor that you can enter a dimension of grace today that will shift your church and your ministry into a level you never dreamt